Esther Nonga is from Kota LLG in Finchafen District. During the recent eco-seminar on conversion program held at AMPO, the headquarters of the Evangelical Lutheran Church of PNG, Anonga was introduced as the only female provincial early childhood education mentor in Morabe province. Sponsored by the Australian Agency for International Development and the PNG government, she underwent a Bachelor of Education in Early Childhood program at the Queensland University of Technology. She commenced her studies in 2013 and graduated after three years. Her passion in educating PNG's young minds and grit that sees her walk long distances to teach and train teachers has seen her involvement in the compilation of an ECE curriculum for Lutheran ranch schools. Some schools in Finchafen, under her leadership, have started using the ECE curriculum that she and her male colleagues authored in 2019. In our curriculum, we wrote everything for ECE, like rhymes and poems and play activity, using the interacts of uh, integrated things from the culture to the uh, school. We all retain all those things, the culture and mathematics, culture and community. Um, it's like science, but that time we said science and technology. So now we will say uh, science, emergent literacy, emergent science, emergent literacy. The word changed, but all the ideas were same. The curriculum was written from 2019 to 2020. Anonga was part of the three-man team that wrote the first draft, then brought in all trainers with Ozaid's help and did the second draft. The third draft was written with support from the Kokoda Trek Foundation. So then we invited Lutheran churches in Papua New Guinea to go and run the EC program. Anoga mentioned her mentor and author of PNG's first early childhood education book, Haring Koreka, who helped her with the curriculum. Their curriculum adopted EC from other countries, but tailored it to fit PNG's landscape. Anonga stressed on the need for teachers to know their curriculum before proceeding to educate PNG's human resource. Salome Vincent, TV1 News.